explain all that. My vector demo. Yeah, so if you're on here and you haven't seen it yet, go to my myvectordemo.com. Okay. So you go to myvectordemo.com. This is the website. So, okay, so I'm super pumped, by the way, guys. This, this new, uh, the way they have presented this new virtual demo, um, and I shouldn't even say it new, the way they've updated this to, to really, it's more streamlined, it makes it so much easier. Uh, I'm so fired up about this. So there's two things, uh, and anybody on this call, you need to make sure you write down these two websites, myvectordemo.com, myvectordemo.com, okay? That is the website that you are going to be using for your manual. So I want all of you guys to go to that website right now. All right, so I'm going to share my screen. Also going to share my audio. John, I might need your help. I want to see if we can do both of these little things at the same time, which is how Drew, uh, how Wes had it set up. If you know what I'm talking about. All right, so this is the, the website you're gonna have your customers go to is yourcutcodedemo.com. So my vector demo is the demo you're gonna use. And my, my Cutco, or your Cutco demo is the website that the customer is going to use. Okay. So it starts out, it's going to be exactly the same. I'm going to walk it through side by side here so that you can get a, an idea of how they operate together. Okay. So you have the front of your manual here. I'm not super tech savvy. But um, you all. <clears throat> Thanks. All right, so it shrunk it for us. So uh, you have your normal stuff here. No big deal. It has the, by the way, this literally is designed to go identically the same way your normal presentation. Uh, for those of you who have done face-to-face -face presentations, is the same way the manual set up. Um, there is a little bit of uh, small little tweaks uh, to make it more a little more fluid for the virtual, the new process. And it's a little more outlined to make, uh, so you know a lot of what's, what's happening on the user's end, so you know what to tell them to make them follow along. But you have your tips for your demo here. Um, send confirmation emails at ASAP. So you're going to want to have a separate sheet of paper for, to take notes on as we're going through this, so you can make sure that you implement some of this, because you can't print out this uh, My Cutco or My Vector demo yet. <clears throat> so... Sending emails, a couple of little quick admin tips here. You're gonna to wanna to send emails the night before, okay? You're gonna send emails the night before and you do not want to send the link to the, to the, the uh, your Cutco demo. So don't send the link in the email. You're just going to want to send them the, the heads up, the time. I even, by the way, you wanna take this one step further, send a Google Calendar invite so that they it'll put it right into their phone almost everybody has a google calendar in their phone nowadays um, and it'll link it right there so they will not forget about you uh, and it says send a reminder text message the next morning um, so you know eight nine o'clock before i start my day i send my reminder text messages to everybody uh, to make sure that they are confirmed for the right times um, Actually, and so it says here, you don't send the website link. I'm, I messed up here. You don't send the website link until five minutes before the demo. All right. And the reason you don't want to send it until uh, that quick is you don't want them to go look through everything before. Uh, I, I remember I did this one time and the customer went through the whole presentation without me. So I call them and like, oh, we don't need to see anything. We're good. We don't want anything. I'm like, I didn't show it to you. They're like, oh, no worries. We already looked through the, the website you sent us. Yeah, we're good. I'm like, you just looked at a bunch of pictures. <laughs> um, now this new one we're going to go through here, you're going to see a lot more uh, videos and interaction. Uh, but yes, you, you want to wait until you send it to them. Um, you want to make sure that your customers know to be at their house. Okay. This is going to be very important that you stress the fact that you need them in front of a computer or a laptop 
and in a place where that they can interact with you um, and, and focus on, on the presentation, okay? Uh, and you do want to make sure you're clear on that when you're when you're talking to them, so that they know that this is this is going to be at the home, so they're not driving around, they're not running errands, or waiting till last minute to get back home for you. Um, obviously, as we know, it's best to see husband and wives together. Absolutely, no husbands alone, especially in these virtuals. Um, it's a lot harder to convey excitement through through the virtual for just a husband because. You know, it's the barbecue stuff. There's some cool videos and things, but you always want the wife there. She's the one that decorates. She's the one that controls the schedules. So now it is going to be a little bit more important that you, that you focus on your uh, tone of voice and your body language. So you see there, it says smile, be energetic, uh, be the highlighter of the day. You might have to go a little bit more than normal in your excitedness and your smiling. Um, and what someone told me this, and I, it was the coolest thing. I was like, are you serious? I need to do this. Putting a mirror in front of you, wherever you're sitting down to do the appointment. So that way, if, you're, if you looked up at yourself and look in the mirror, you're like, oh, oh, that's not a pretty face. And, you, and you'd smile and your tone of voice changes. Um, and that smile just makes it more fun and engaging for your customer, by the way. All right, so you wanna make sure that you're smiling a lot. It goes a long way. As you're going through, so the next one says collection, uh, collect stories and testimonials from your customers. This is That's huge. Expensive. We see a YouTube screen. That's not good. How do you guys see a YouTube screen? We see like, you, we see like e, it's like Inception. Or is this just me? They no, are, you're definitely you're you're like screen sharing the live YouTube, which is you screen sharing the live YouTube, which is you screen sharing the live YouTube. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> I was three times. So. It's literally three times. Time. You guys speak up. It's okay. Well, I'm, I'm it. glad you guys said something. <laughs> we were talking well, I was on a call and I was like looking. I was like, what? Someone needs to say something because <laughs> this is so not what we're supposed to be doing. I, I, thought, I, I thought you were walking us through it so that we were looking at it. So I didn't know if anybody... <laughs> was supposed to tell you or if you were just expecting us yeah to i don't i thought i was looking at um nope it was straight up inception there was four of you there was four of me that's cool all right let's see if this works All right, do you see the- Better, yes, thank you. All right, so which one do you see? Collect stories and testimonials from past customers is highlighted. Now, do you see the, the other page? We do not see anything besides that screenshot, it looks like, or yeah. No, you should, you're just on the manual. We just see the manual. Right, okay, I have both pulled up. I have the my vector demo, which is the what's just highlighted my vector demo. Showed. I also have um, your cut code demo pulled up to show it side by side, but we I don't, don't know. Have that. I don't know if I can do that at the same time. Well, we will uh, we'll do this two ways then. So we'll walk through what it looks like on our end, and then I'll walk through what it actually looks like. Actually, does everyone have the my vector demo pulled up on their phone? I have it pulled up. Okay. Whoever said that, thank you for speaking up. Thanks, Cyan. I appreciate it. Thanks, Cyan. All right. So no, here's that too, by the way. We're giving you out. congratulations for doing what you know. Go work out. I will later. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can you YouTube live so we can see you work out? Is that something that's like it's kind of weird to say. <laughs> that was, I was about to say, was, um, I guess. I can. I, I, I was asking for a friend. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So do you guys, what screen do you see? For, you see the. I, we see the customer screen now. Okay, cool. Or the customer website. Okay, so everyone on your phone, you should have it. And this is how I am, I'm teaching people to do it too, by the way, is that they have the customer site up themselves. And then on your phone, you have the manual. So you can go through it. Ooh, okay. 
Hey, real quick, Spencer. Yeah. Is this being recorded? Because uh, Kristen is has some demos, so she can't view this. Yes, this right is being live streamed to YouTube. So we're we're live on the internet. So after her demo, she can come back and watch it on YouTube, right? Yep, 100%. Perfect. I'll, if you could send me the link or if I could find that link somehow, that'd be great. Just Maybe. go to Kathy's YouTube, but yes, I will, I will post it after we're cool. done. I'll just look that. Cool, thanks. All right. <clears throat> so real quick, uh, actually, I'm going to stop sharing. I'm going to run through the quick uh, little things that we were just talking about as far as tips go. Uh, you know, so collect testimonials, either you do a video, so you could do uh, a quick little Zoom with someone and get a recording, you have them record a quick little video of what they like, or just have them um, email you something that they write down. But you wanna collect testimonials because the, we call these seed plants, the more you can talk about other people's experiences with their Cutco product line, the more impactful it is when it's not you talking about a product and it's someone else's actual experience, what they've used, how they've had it, what they feel about it, it goes a lot further than you talking. Um, now, doesn't, this is not to say that what we say is not important, but that adds an extra value and it has nothing and these people aren't paid. So there's just natural experiences with it and that helps a lot. <clears throat> um, it's a state control of your demo, confirm every, every one to two slides that they're on the same page. So you wanna ask questions to make sure you guys see the same things uh, that they're following along. Excuse me. Uh, I will say that if you're someone who likes to be in control, you know, kind of how I have it here, you can do Zoom. Now you have to pay for it. It's $15 a month to have a Zoom where I can control. I can, I can literally share the screen like I'm gonna do in just a little bit on the, the, the customer side and I can control everything so they're focused. Now. Either whether you do that or you're just having them walk themselves through it, it's going to be super crucial that you are asking a lot of questions. You need to keep more engagement through your virtuals than your regular presentations because there's no knives for them to play with now. Um, meaning, so now we just have to get comfortable with getting excited, right? Enthusiasm is the key to success in anything that you do, and it's the transfer of energy from one person to the next. And so your job right now is you need to transfer the excitement you guys know we have the best product in the market. We are the top of the line in our industry and we have such an amazing opportunity for people. And you have to be able to let that excitement that you have be able to be transferred to your customers, okay? Um, so making sure you stay in control of your presentations. How would you use this? What do you think about that? What, what, did, you, what did you like most about this? What would you use that piece for? Just asking a lot of questions, okay? Uh, if customer asks for prices in the middle of the presentation, don't go giving it away. Uh, uh, just like you don't spoil the end of the movie. Um, we'll, get, we'll get to that point when we do. Cool. Um, and smile and be patient if there is any technical issues. Your customer is going to look at you, okay, for Mrs. Uh, or for the, for the presentation. What do I mean by this? If something goes wrong, if it's not working the way it should, they're going to look at you to be like, Oh, and you're just like, oh, everything, you know, technology happens sometimes. You got to be cool, calm, and collected, okay? You can't freak out if, if the website's not working. You just say, hey, you know what? Let me call my manager real quick to make sure, see everything's okay. Um, you have to be the rock for them. Uh, and that, by the way, it gets them excited. When they see you handling adversity, they're more tied into who you are because very few young people can kind of just like flow with, go with the flow in the sense of like handling problems when they come up. And that's what you want to do, build that character. Um, and then follow cues when clicking. So what, what does that mean? Present to the husband and wife together. Uh, so you want to make sure that they, they do decisions together. Uh, oh, so following cues, I, I don't know if this goes hand in hand here. Uh, but it, oh, so yeah, making sure they're sitting in front of the screen. So you want to make sure that they're looking at the presentation. Um, and you know, if you have them Put them on speaker so you can hear, hear both the husband and the wife. Uh, you want to hear the conversations because uh, they're going to be joking back and forth and you don't want to have them having a conversation without being able to be a part of it. Uh, meaning, because I don't know about you, but I've had conversations where the, you know, the husband makes fun of the wife or something or, or vice versa and you can kind of you know, be a part of it and, and joke around or they make fun of you. And that brings the relationship closer together, by the way. So you want to make sure they're on speaker so you can hear both of them and have interactions with both of them. You don't want to talk to just one of the spouses. You want to talk to both of them. Give them equal attention. 
uh, and make sure your jokes play to both, okay? Uh, you don't wanna have a one-sided conversation, meaning, and what I see some representatives do is they're only talking to the husband or they're only talking to the wife. You gotta make sure both are involved so they feel part of the presentation. That's gonna be a big thing with making sure your customer feels engaged in this, this interaction. If they feel like they can just put you on speakerphone and walk away, they're not gonna be there during the presentation and they're not gonna see the value as much because they're not gonna be involved. And if they're bored, by the way, they're gonna be confused because they're not gonna pay attention as well. And a confused mind will never buy. So uh, a couple quick tips for showing Cutco owners. Uh, you do a full presentation again. Uh, this stuff is actually, you'll see here that the videos that are part of this are actually really cool. Uh, there's some ad new additions to it than the old virtual that some of you have done before. Um, so that's, it's exciting. Uh, remember, we've been in business since 1949. You know, dishwasher safe, forever guaranteed. And things are a lot more concise. And by the way, if you go back and show them again, you're gonna, you might show some sets that the customer might not have seen or might not have remembered. So you, it's easier to upsell when you go back through and do a full presentation and rebuild the value and like reminding them how awesome Cutco is. They remember how well it works, right? But they might forget the specific features like, oh, during, you know, right now, it's extremely sanitary, never gonna have any bacteria, anything gets stuck on it, just wipe it clean. Like that's huge right now what products are super easy to clean and never going to retain any odors, bacteria, um, viruses, disease, anything like that. So um, making sure that you rebuild the value in the product. All right. So now I'm going to flip back over to the, uh, the website that the customer is going to be on. Okay. While you're going through the rest of this. All right. So everyone sees the, the, the complete set there. Yes. Okay, perfect. Thanks, Diane. All right, so now, now we're, we're, we've gone, we're about to get started. So once we have, we've got them on the website, now we're going to still build rapport. So go ahead and um, pull up your, uh, pull up your cutcodemo.com. Uh, get to know them and catch up. So we're doing our basic rapport here just the same. Ask questions before we dive in. So you, you want to make sure that you're really going uh, to, to build rapport here and get to know them a little bit. You know, what are they doing in this time? Like, how, how are you taking uh, control of your family time? And you're like, today, my wife and I, we went for a walk and uh, it, was, it was so cool. Um, as weird as this like environment is, there's, we're using technology in such a, such a much more efficient way to connect, right? Uh, like we had a Zoom uh, family meeting today for a half hour. Um, and I uh, had my grandfather in Puerto Rico uh, my my uh, my mom, uh, Kathy's dad, who was in Florida, her brother, who was in uh, Fort Lauderdale, and then uh, her sister and and our brother-in-law, who was in Virginia, like, and we have never done that before, right? Uh, so, like, hey, what are you doing to like innovate right now to to spend time with the family? What are you guys doing for fun? What how are you guys staying busy? Um, you know, and if this wasn't happening, what do you guys like to do for fun? Uh, do you guys do you know? Are you go hunting, fishing, sports, camping? Like what, what would be a, a weekend getaway for you? And really going in to get to know your people, okay? Um, you know, like what sports are your kids in? What's, what are they outside playing right now? What are they, what are they doing for fun? Are, are they play video games? Oh yeah, I love the game too. That's pretty cool. What does is, what is your son play? And just trying to find some sort of connection and common ground between you and them or them and their kids. Like what connections do you have with their kids is, is also really big because a lot of the people you're seeing are parents who have kids your age. So connecting with them on that front, um, asking questions. I'll tell you each category, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to focus on asking three questions deep. Meaning if I ask a question like, what do you do for work? How long have you done that? How did you get into that? What do you like about it? I want to ask three to four questions on each subject that I'm talking about so that way I can get some depth on it. I can get to know them a little bit on a deeper level. Um, you know, some people they ask what it was like the shotgun. Like, what do you do for work? Oh, cool, how long have you lived here? Awesome, do you like to cook? Oh, great, what did you do? For, where'd you go to school? And they get one question here and it's almost like an interrogation where if you go three to four questions deep, you're actually building deeper connections, deeper conversations and what it actually gets the customer open. It shows that you care, you're curious about them. And when they feel you're curious about them, they become curious about you, which leads an easy transition into, um, 
you know, thanking them. By the way, you want to overthink them. Overthink them for doing the presentation. If, if they don't say, oh my gosh, John, it's, it, it's not a problem at all. You know, we, we're glad we could help. If they don't, they don't say something like that, I don't think you've thanked them enough, okay? They, you, they should know how important this is uh, and they should feel overappreciated uh, for giving you the time. Okay. Um, <clears throat> the, the last thing I'm going to say on the virtual, and it says here five to 10 minutes, a real pro tip, I'm going to tell you the best thing you can do is connect with your customers. Um, and so I, if I have to, I go, I go all the way to 30 minutes to build rapport with my customer. Right. Um, so really focusing on making sure that we're on the same page. We're having a good conversation. If you get someone who's like, uh-huh. Yep. Uh-huh. Yeah. Like, I know I haven't connected with them. They're not really engaged. So then I, I want to ask a couple more questions about them uh, and making sure that, that they're, they're involved. So then thank you so much for taking the time to see my presentation. It really means a lot. Um, tell me a little bit. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about me. So now you're going to dive into that. Uh, so you would have in your email, by the way, you're going to want to have attached your about me page. Okay. So your picture collage of who you are, you know, and focus on past, present, and future. You know, what you've done in the past, where you are right now, and where you're going in the future, where you see yourself going, all right? And the last thing I, I say with that is, if you, if you, even, if you, even if you don't know where you're going, it's who do you need to be to be something like where you wanna be? Maybe you don't know what your dream job is, but you have some people you aspire to be like. What characteristics do those people have? And how can you get that from working in this position? And that's kind of what you want to talk about through the who I am, my dream job, and then talking about your goals. Okay. All right. So now we've gone through about me. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down a little bit on the page until you see the white and blue slide. All right. So now we're, now they're scrolling down here after we've gone into us. So by the way, all, while all this is happening, you should be right here at the picture of the Cutco, uh, the complete set. Okay. So now we're going to scroll down. Thank you uh, for helping me reach my goal. What's up? Okay. Um, thank you for helping me reach my goal. Um, and what is cut code? Do you, do you see those? All right, good. We're off to a good start. So we're just asking if they see those pictures. All right, so you see the what is cut code? Uh, thank you for sharing my goals page. So now you're going to go into tying them into your goals now that you're here. You know, I'm working with Cutco because I want to build some experience. I want to jump into the, the management internship program. You know, I want to be a doctor and I need to better my bedside manner. I, I want to be an engineer and I don't want to just be uh, like an engineer. I want to be a project engineer. I want to be someone who like leads people. Uh, and so I'm working really hard because what I love about Cutco is I'm working with different types of people. I'm interacting. I'm working on my interpersonal communication skills. Uh, and it's really going to help me for my future. Uh, and so what are you going to gain from working here? What's specific? And the more specific you can be, uh, the more excited your customer is going to be, right? Uh, and then it's, I just started my fast start contest. Obviously, if you're not in your fast start anymore, you're not going to say that line. But you are in some kind of contest. You know, um, we, we have one month left uh, to finish out the semester. And my goal is to earn uh, the president's club letter. And, you know, it's $10,000 for the semester. Um, if you started in the last month, you have, I think, um, 6,000 left to hit that. So, you know, what, it, what do you have? What is your goal? Um, and through Cutco, this president's club letter actually helps me, uh, which will look great on my resume. And you can go into a little bit more depth about the president's club if you do. But if you see, it actually tells them what the president's club letter is right here on the screen. This is why this, this virtual is so awesome is because everything you're saying, it kind of has a little bit more in depth on here so they can look at it too. Um, it says top sellers become members of the, the coveted president's club and receive a letter of merit and a personalized recommendation letter from the vector president. These help build resumes and portfolios for internships, grad schools, and other future opportunities. Um, so they'll give you some more insight on some of the stuff we're talking about. I also have a chance to win an All-American scholarship uh, to help me with school. And since I just started, I'm going to be reading for my manual. Is that okay? Now, they're not going to have any idea because typically you're not even going to be on screen with them. Uh, normally I wouldn't even say to start your first one. You should be, you just want to be doing it over the phone with them. All right. So then we're going to transition to the demo. Like I said, over the phone, you don't have to get anything, uh, but if you see something like you definitely can get it today. Not only would you be getting a great product, uh, but you'd be helping me out too. Now Cutco is awesome. 
and you can buy sets or pieces. And we also have tons of accessories and gifts. We have interest-free monthly investment options. So you don't have to pay for it all at once. And just so I know, do you cook because you have to, do you, just so I know, do you cook because you have to like to or love to? Great, you're gonna love your Cutco. By the way, just a side note, here is where I'm gonna ask a couple questions about what do they like to cook? So it's like, Cyan, what, what, what do you like to cook? What's your favorite thing to cook? Chicken. All right, well, how do you do your chicken? Are you more of like a chicken parmesan or do you chicken fajitas? What do you like to do with it? Uh, more like baked chicken. Baked chicken, okay. Do you stuff it too? Um, no, I, I cut it up actually. Cut it up, okay, and bake mm -hmm. it. Makes it cook mm -hmm. a lot faster, huh? Mm -hmm. Nice, so what do you like to make with your baked chicken? Um, rice, um, okay. pinto beans. Pinto beans, nice, very mm -hmm. island style, it sounds like. <laughs> cool, um, all right, what else do you like to, if, if you had everything in your, in your kitchen, it was completely full of like your favorite foods, what would you make? Pancakes. Pancakes, okay. Fancy stuff? Uh, not just regular pancakes. Okay. I mean, right. uh, I might add chocolate chips. But I might oh, be... there you go. You got to throw in the chips, man. <laughs> cool, anything else? Um, fruit. Doing Water some fruit. Melon, strawberries. Okay. Mm, I love a, a good watermelon and some cold strawberries is mango. two of my favorites. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Awesome. And by the way, I'm going to ask, I ask that same type of question to everybody. Okay. And by the way, I'm taking notes, side note, I'm going to take notes because now they have no idea what I'm doing. So I'm taking notes on what she likes. She says she cooks because she you know, kind of likes to, right? Uh, kind of has to. Um, cool. Perfect. So now as I'm going through that, by the way, I'm going to use that in my presentation on some tips and keys on how to, how to talk to her based off of her language. Um, so anyway, real simple. So now we've gone through, I just want to ask her what she likes to do, get a little more insight. So now we're at page two. Um, hey, Cyan, can you read uh, the product video? Do you see that? Uh, can you read that little section for me until the video starts? The product? Uh -huh. Like what is Cutco? No, should, do you see, are you on the website? No, I've been watching you do it off Zoom. Got it. Okay. Um, no worries. So I can read it. Uh, cool, Brody. Go ahead and read that section for me. Thank you, sir. Um, which part do you want me to read? My first part, the first part of my presentation. So after building rapport. So are you on the, the My Vector demo? Yes. Okay. So yeah, after building rapport, if you're, you should be on page two. It should say product video. Got it. The first part of my presentation is a short video that shows the quality of Cutco. After that, I'll show you the pieces in our basic set. A few things to know is that these are all real customers. Some of them have had Cutco for decades. No but forever guarantee. This is what makes us a top selling brand in North America. Go ahead and finish I, that last little line there. Do I say that to them or is that just a me thing? Nope, so this is, this is what you're gonna say to them. Yep, so quick reminder, go ahead and double check that the volume is turned up so that you can Got hear it. everything, okay? Got it. So, so a quick reminder, go ahead and double check that your volume is turned up so you can hear everything, okay? Perfect. All right, so we'll, play, we'll have them play the video. You know, I think we got knives for our wedding. They didn't, they didn't last the t uh, test of time. I cut things and like saw through the tomato and it's starting to like mush underneath me. It seemed that they got dull very quickly. We, sometimes we just couldn't find the right knife to do what we needed it to do. But since we've got cut comb, we have the variety of knives. Each knife really does something different. When we first picked up the knives, uh, we could tell the difference. We weren't used to having such sharp blades, uh, the tools working like they were supposed to. We actually use them so frequently, I can't put them away. It's just part of our kitchen now. All right, so I'm not going to play this whole video. It's about 10 minutes long. Um, but if you look on the My Vector demo, it says at about two minutes, um, you want to say, isn't that guarantee great? You want it, so you, here, you want to be asking some questions while the video is happening. Um, at 4.10, it says, uh, ever seen a drawer that looks like that before? 
right? Just having some fun, joking a little bit, okay? So you wanna be interactive during those videos. Uh, you'll see them cut and like, oh my gosh, have you ever dealt with a, a dull knife like that before? And they'll, the customer will be like, oh my gosh, my tomato looked like that last night when I was trying to cut it. Um, so you wanna have some fun in this portion, okay? Now, if, if the internet, let's say someone has a bad internet connection, uh, you want to you wanna click on this. Does everyone see the, the settings button with the little gear there? You're going to click that. And you're going to change the quality of the video, okay? And you're going to move it down to, um, I think, 480 or 360 will work either way. Uh, it, ch it changes the resolution, so it's not as uh, high definition. Okay, so if anyone ever has an issue with the video playing, that's what you want to do. You want to change the quality of it. Okay. All right. So if you're looking at your uh, my vector demo, you'll see just below that there is going to be a picture. Uh, we're, so after the video, it's okay. I'm going to start by showing you the pieces in our most popular set, which is our homemaker set. Go ahead and scroll down a little bit past the video. All right. And you'll see three three different color homemaker sets, and then a slideshow. All right. So it, this is super simple. It literally walks you step by step. So they'll see the the video. Now we'll get them to the slideshow um, called the homemaker set pieces. What I'd like you to do is hit the full screen button. All right. So we're gonna hit the full screen button. <clears throat> now some people you're gonna have to tell what the full screen button is. So if they don't know what it is, tell them it's the little square uh, at the bottom on the toolbar there. Right. So I have them do full screen. And then double click and you'll get to that set. All right, so go ahead and hit the space bar. All right, so now we'll move to the slowest side of the homemaker set. Do you see that? So we're gonna ask questions. It's gonna be really interactive. That's why we wanna make sure that we're, we're having them on speakerphone, all right? So now we're gonna go through names and uses just like we normally would. So Mrs. Jones, uh, you can buy individual pieces, but most of our customers agree that over a lifetime sets are a much better value. Uh, it's important to have the right set for the right situation because of safety and efficiency. Uh, we have two, two larger set options for customers who love to cook called our signature and our complete set. But I'm going to start with the pieces in our basic set, which is the, which is the most popular. It's called our Homemaker Plus 8. It has the, 10, it has the minimum number of tools to do 100% of your job in your kitchen as efficiently as possible. Now it starts with the best, it, it's the best value for the average family and it starts with your, and so now you're gonna have them hit the space bar and it pulls up the parry knife. So go ahead in the space bar uh, and you'll see, so do you see that? So they'll pull up that video. Now you'll have them click, but first you're gonna read the Cutco's air knife has a long handle making peeling and paring comfortable. So go ahead and click the play button on the video and, and it'll play for 10 sec 11 seconds. So they'll watch the video. Oh my gosh, look at that. It just glides right through that. She's gonna cut through the apple in one swipe. You'll use this for small jobs in the air, for apples, strawberries, and bananas, but you'll rarely use this on the cutting board. That's why you have the next tool in your set. Okay, and you'll have them hit the space bar again and it'll pull up the trimmer. So this is your small utility knife for small fruits and veggies. Uh, go ahead and hit, click play and you'll see how smooth this is. Oh, so they're gonna have to click on the actual video to play it. They can't hit the space bar. You'll never smash a tomato ever again. It has, it's great for cucumbers, oranges, lemons, limes, and awesome for slicing some raw chicken strips as well. Look at it just glide through this. Oh my gosh, Grandma. Make them as thick or as thin as you want. You can even be a professional like that if you want one day. It kind of looks like a bony knife. <laughs> kind of. Now that you say it. I'm right? Gonna... Like, it's pretty skinny. Oh. <laughs> it looks like it. It is, it is super skinny. Oh, well, um, it's cut cut. It's all cut. So oh, you'll finish with, uh, which color do you like better? The black, white, or red? Red. Red. 
always compliment them on their choice. Great choice. Now, if that's your favorite color, say, oh, great. That's my favorite color too. And if it's not, I don't say it is my favorite color. I just say, oh, that's a great choice. Give them a compliment. The more you can compliment them on the choices they make, uh, the, the more they're going to like you as well. That's a little psychology that I learned a long time ago. Um, everyone's, every lo everyone loves the versatility of the trimmer, but it's never used for spreading or serving. That's why you have your, switch to the next two. We got our spatula spreader. So press play to watch this video, right? Now we're gonna watch them. This is from the old video, the cream cheese sandwich over here that he's gonna make. Making me hungry. That, that's more like diabetes on a bagel. But, all right. So you'll have that video and you'll be reading while the, that's playing. The wide flexible double D edge uh, on this allows for cutting, spreading and serving sandwiches, bagels, lasagnas and cakes. It's perfect for uh, getting peanut butter and jelly out of a jar with smooth, super smooth spreading uh, or getting brownies out of the pan. But you'll never use this on meats or large vegetables. That's why you have your, now obviously you can play the second video here of someone making a sandwich, right? Cutting, doing a little bit of all of it. We, we already know grandma's gonna be fired up about that one. So the next tool we have in our set is gonna be our petite carver. <clears throat> So go ahead and hit the play button. This is our large uh, utility knife. It's for your everyday uh, meat knife for chicken and small roast. And it's also a large summer fruit uh, and tough vegetables. Wait till you see this one glide through that pineapple. Look at that thing. It just like butter, Mrs. Jones. Would you look at that? Oh my gosh. Have you ever struggled to cut through the core of something before? Yeah, not with the Cutco Petite Carver. And then it comes with our turning fork. These three sharp tines make it easy for turning meats and veggies and getting things out of a jar. None of these pieces uh, so far are gonna be used for larger foods. Now, that last line there, none of these pieces so far, that's, you're gonna wait to re read that line until you finish the video. Look at this, even squash, I think that's a pumpkin. I don't even know, this thing's amazing. Oh, we're going on to cantaloupe now. Doesn't that just look so nice when they're cutting it? it? Sounds so smooth. Grandma, just wait till you get one of these. What would you what would you use that on? Now none of these pieces so far are used on large foods. That's why you have your the next tool we have is our butcher knife. Now play the top video and then the bottom video. So we'll have them start with that. This is our heavy duty knife. It just joints large meats. It's also great for melons and squash and separating frozen foods like hot dogs or hamburgers. Uh, it actually protects, protects your other knives uh, because it's the only piece in the basic set strong enough to cut uh, for those cutting jobs. Look at that. Watermelon, no problem. Just glides right through it. Uh, but it's a, it's not a chopping knife. So that, that but it's not a chopping knife is also going to be the last thing that you say before you transition. So you'll let these videos play. You kind of talk through them, get it excited. Look at this. He's manhandling that watermelon. Grandma, how excited would you be to, to watch this? Oh my gosh. Fruit Ninja for real. All right, now watch this. With the ribs, this butcher knife here. Someone's serious. They even got their gloves on for this. Oh my gosh, look at that. Mm. But none of these, uh, but it's not for chopping. So uh, actually, you're going to start, it, it protects all the other knives. That line, you're going to wait until the videos are done. Uh, so it protects all the other knives. And it's a perfect piece for your basic set because uh, strong enough for those jobs. But it's not a chopping knife. That's why you have your. Have our chef's knife. So go ahead and hit play. The high knuckle clearance makes it comfortable and safer for dicing, mincing, and chopping. Uh, this delicate chopper is great for the six S's. Soups, salads, stir fry, stews, stuffing, and salsa. Look at that. You can be like Rachel Ray in your kitchen, Orlando. Oh my gosh. 
the chef's knife are for chopping, not slicing. That's why you have your slicer. Now let's play the video. Oop, I gotta click on it. It's the best bread knife in the world and the long double D edge makes it great for cutting, cutting cakes, shredding lettuce and slicing boneless meat. But it's not for anything with a bone. Look at that. That's perfect. No crumbs. It glides right through it. Man. I always say this is the lightsaber, Mrs. Jones. <laughs> yeah, I go. Look at that. No squish in the bread. I like that, John. Yeah, I'm a nerd, so. And Have I'm fun like, with it. I love it, John. I am your Cutco guy. Luke, I am your father. So you, I, I love that John points out, calls it the lightsaber. Like for me, the butcher's knife, I call the Aladdin knife, which kind of looks like a machete. You know, just joking with them. The more fun you have with it, the more fun they're going to have with it. Um, so don't be worried about like, oh my gosh, can I joke with them? Do I have to always be serious? Like follow the script, but like be yourself and have fun. Um, it's so important. So the script is just like your playbook, all right? It's, it's the... It gets you from A to B, and your personality is like the, the extra sauce that makes it more fun and enjoyable. But they need to have the facts, all right? So let the facts do the, the building of the product, and you have fun with the customer so they like you. Your job is to sell you. All right, all right. So, but, but this is not for anything with the bone. That's why you have your master carving set. All right, so let's play this. Ooh, we got a big, big turkey to Press carve here. With the carving knife. Starting parallel to the breastbone, slice diagonally through the meat, down to the horizontal base. Let the slices cascade off and get ready to serve to your guest. Let it cascade off, Mrs. Jones. It's ready to be served. All right, it's, it's like your spare tire. You satisfying. <laughs> I hope you're hungry while you're doing some push-ups and planks. Um, oh, no, it's, it's like your spare tire. You won't use it every day, but you'd be glad that you have it. Um, I always use a line, I would rather need it and uh, I would rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it, you're right? Um, Ooh, money line. Do you ever barbecue or host family dinners? Yeah, this is gonna be your big, for your barbecues, your big roasts and your family occasions. Having both forks in your set is important. The, the turning fork uh, picks foods up while the carving fork holds meats down um, and they're wide enough to go around the, the bones. Now, can you see how over a lifetime you're gonna use every one of these tools in your basic set? That line is crucial with the head nod, by the way. All right, so we'll, now we'll hit the next slide. So go ahead and advance, hit the space bar. To, so to complete your set, we have the table knife. So use this for every meal, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The, the wide blade and rounded tip make it safer and great for spreading for spreading, but the, uh, but the double D edge, it cuts like a steak knife. We recommend having two table knives per family member so that you don't, you don't have to wash them after every meal. Now, let's see how the table knife works uh, with some tough leather. So go ahead and play the video there. You're gonna see a comparison here. Hope you're not hungry in this grandma. All right, let's see what Cutco can do. Oh my gosh, look at that. Just one stroke back. Whew. Now she's just going off. Right? Miss Jones, you cut your steak in right? Oh yeah. I just now, Mrs. Jones, just so you know, this is to show that the way our edge is designed is it's not serrated. That's our double D edge. So it cuts forwards, backwards, and straight down. That's just a little extra tidbit. So I can kind of comment on that second video. Because uh, the I don't know if you all know, the purpose of that second video is to show the upper edge and how all you need to do is push straight down and it'll cut just like all the other corners, just like any of the other knives. So uh, now... Just so you know, Mrs. Jones, for customers who feel they need the, the feel of a, a larger steak knife st uh, 
uh, steak knife, sorry, steakhouse style steak knife. Our two larger set options, the signature and the ultimate set, they both come with those steak knife options. And go ahead and click forward and you'll see. Those are our two bigger bad sets. Uh, you can see in the top left hand corner, that's the steak knife. It's the same length as the trimmer, uh, but it has a little wider blade and a rounded tip. So it's a little, it's much safer to have at the dinner table. A funny joke, Mrs. Jones, this knife actually came out because Texans complained that our, our table knife wasn't, wasn't manly enough for them. So they needed a restaurant style steak knife. Um, and so our two bigger sets come with that. Now, Mrs. Jones, it would be super dangerous to have really high quality, uh, to have really sharp knives floating in a drawer. Our sets come with a, a solid oak wood block, which looks great on the counter. We also have our storage options. Uh, we also have our storage, storage trays for the, for the drawer or on the wall. Now our sets come with a free cutting board. It's important to use soft plastic cutting boards, glass, granite, and marble cutting boards are too hard and will actually dull your knives. So go ahead and move to the next slide. And you can see our storage options there. Um, we also above the, you see the blocks, you'll see the, the storage trays on, on the right hand side, uh, the, the cutting board on the left. And above that, that's our entertainer pack and kitchen tools uh, to complete to complement our homemaker set, we have an incredible kitchen tools and gadgets. This five piece kitchen tool set, a dishwasher safe kitchen tool set replaces a drawer full of old kitchen tools. And then we have our four piece entertainer pack, which has comfort grip handles uh, and is of course forever guaranteed. So go ahead and at the next slide. So now we're, now you can see a close up of the kitchen tools and the entertainer pack. The entertainer pack comes with our four most popular gadgets uh, all in one pack. We're gonna play with these short little videos one at a time to see. Okay, there we go. Um, we're gonna play these one at a time, starting with the peeler. It peels this is a cuckoo direction. peeler. It has a double blade and it goes back and forth. This is back awesome. No, look no. at that, Mrs. Jones. This is like the coolest thing. Look, it goes back and forth. How cool is that? Within seconds. Look now I'm that. very excited. I can't wait for you to try out that peeler, Mrs. Jones. All right, now click the ice cream scoop. It goes right Briars. Oh, boy. Oh, what, hey. Briar's ice cream? Are you, you know kidding? what, John? What you need to do is make yourself a YouTube channel, put on some Bluebell and or whatever. Or Cutco. We have a lady scooping Briar's. At least Ben and Jerry's. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my, oh my God. How am I going to get an ice cream scoop in the tiny-ass little container of Ben and Jerry's? You know what our ice cream scoop we're doing, but better than Briar's. Oh, my gosh. Bluebell, come on. Where's the Bluebell at? Come on. Get out of here. What's, what are you talking yeah. about, all right? Uh, it goes right through rock hard ice cream and it's so great for getting the seeds out of out of melons. All right, now let's move to the pizza cutter. Look at this thing glides right through it. No problem. The blade comes out for easy clean as well. And what's really cool about our pizza cutter is it's designed so that it'll cut through the pizza, but it won't cut you. Uh, it's super safe as well. And throw those both in the dishwasher. And then we have the cheese knife. Cheese knife has holes so that the cheese doesn't stick to it. It's great to, for potatoes, apples, pepperon, uh, pepperonis. Look at that mozzarella cheese just glides right through. Just push. What other can you just push straight down through a sweet potato? Look at that. You want to get even go frisky with a tomato. This thing is awesome. And then we got some cheese. Frisky, hey? Okay. Well, frisky. Never mind. <laughs> It's like, yeah, undressing that tomato in the kitchen. <laughs> hey, Sounds like fun. You know what I mean? I'll, I'll take, your, right. take your word for it. Mrs. Jones, let's review why so many people choose to invest in Cutco. You'll always have a sharp American-made knife that's comfortable, safe, and sanitary. Cutco is guaranteed to last forever, so it'll be the last set of knives that you'd ever buy. And Cutco saves a lot of money. Most customers who buy Cutco eat out less. If that saves you $60 a month, that's 720 saved this year. Over 25 years, you'll save $18,000. Now, there's several reasons why so many customers choose sets. Cutco sets have the right tool for the right job. Cutco sets have a built-in discount, so it's cheaper. Cutco sets come with a free cutting board and other free stuff. And sets are much safer because they come in a block or a tray. 
And we also have interest-free monthly investment options. So you don't have to pay for it all at once. Now, Mrs. Jones, now we're gonna exit the full screen. So you can go ahead and hit the escape and it'll bring you back to the original page. So go ahead and scroll down to the next slide. Slideshow and you'll set, uh, set, set options and go to full screen again. All right, so now we'll full screen this one. So let's go ahead to the first slide where you can see the Wusthof and Shun price comparison. When it comes to high quality cutlery, it's like anything else. There's a wide variety of quality and prices. Now, Cutco is top rated, so we only compare to the highest quality brands. I have a price comparison for our, our top competitors, Wusthof and Shun. Have you heard of them before? No. Okay, well, these high quality sets are made overseas. They're two of the top selling brands in stores. Each brand has a, has a different type of set, which range in price. Uh, Wusthof is the most popular. The price for this Wusthof set is 3,435. Uh, sometimes you can find it on sale for about 2,000. There are some major differences between these brands and Cutco though. Uh, Wusthof, is mostly, uh, Wusthof has mostly straight edges, so they need to be sharpened, which is a hassle. Uh, they are not recommended for the dishwasher and the warranties on manufacturing defects only. And in comparison, Cutco has our unique wedge lock handle, exclusive double D stay sharp edge, and we have our four part forever guarantee, including free sharpening. Now Cutco owners will tell you that it's 10 times better than any knives they've ever used. Now, just considering the guarantee and unique features, most people would agree that Cutco is at least twice as good as Wusthof. Now, John, when something offers twice the quality and value and lasts forever, you expect it to be at least twice the price, right? Sure. And, and at twice the price, you're talking over $4,000 for your set of Cutco. All right, so at the top of your page, go ahead and write uh, $4,000, okay? Get my whiteboard. All right, now, as I said earlier, or first, actually, go ahead and click the page. Awesome, so you should see a picture of the three different sets in, uh, or the homemaker set in three different colors, right? Yep. Perfect. Now, as I said earlier, our homemaker set is our most popular. It's perfect for families that cook two to four times a week. And that's the 10 basic tools I explained earlier. It has eight table knives, the wood block, and a sharpener for the straight edges. We also have our homemaker set without the table knives. If you were considering a set of Cutco, would you prefer the set with the table knives? What do you think, honey? Yeah, yeah, we'll do the table knives. Uh, great choice. Those table knives are awesome. All right. So the great thing is, is it doesn't cost $4,000. So go ahead and cross out 4,000, okay? In fact, it doesn't even cost as much as, uh, so right just below that, right, 3,435. Okay. Okay, in fact, it doesn't even cost as much as the Wusthof price of 3,435, so cross that out. All right. The Homemaker Plus 8 set is only, are you ready? Are you sure? Yep. All right. It's only 1326 paid in full. So go ahead and write 1326 underneath that, which includes shipping, by the way. But most of our customers take advantage of our five-month interest-free easy pay option, which is only, so draw an arrow from uh, 1326 to the right. Write down, it's only 290 today, and that includes tax. Now circle 290 for me, real big. Awesome. Now, John, let me tell you about our buy now bonus. We have a bonus where if you buy now, I can, when you buy your homemaker now, I can actually give you a matching kitchen tool set, entertainer pack, or super shears for free. Ah! Now, John, I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't ask you. Would you like to try out the homemaker set today and get your free gift? Sure, you sold us. Congratulations, you're gonna love your Cutco. Now, we're gonna high five through the phone, all right? Put your hand up, hot, bam, all right, nice job. Uh, while I write that up, let's look at some accessories, okay? All right, so once, you gotta get out of that one, yeah. Yeah, so once they say yes, actually, here's, here's how that goes. If they say yes, you say, by the way, do you guys ever entertain or host family occasions? You'll see it just below that. If they say yes, okay, I'm gonna show you our two larger sets, 
So, so you just see the other options, okay? So we're gonna first, so they say yes to the homemaker. Now we're gonna flip through. Now we have the signature set, okay? So this is our signature set. The only difference between the signature and the homemaker are actually at the very end there. If you work your way backwards, the super shears actually come in the signature set. You get the choice between the steak knife. Uh, you get the choice between the steak knife or the table knife. You have 10 of those. And this comes with the, the cheese knife, the petite santoku and the hearty slicer. Okay. And then you'll do, then this is our complete set for people who love to cook. Okay. And then you ask if either one of those interested them. If they say no, no big deal. If they say yes, you're going to call the manager. Okay. Now, if they didn't say, if they didn't say yes, you're just going to skip those two slides. You'll bounce through them. So you'll tell the customer to go ahead and click twice. Actually first, sorry, I take that back. You're not going to have them do that. You're going to stay here. Right. Yep. You're going to stay right here. And then you're going to say if, if no problem, if that doesn't, if, if you don't mind me asking, what is it about the homemaker set that you're unsure of? So now you're going to handle the knee jerk reaction. Okay. It's too much money. I need to think about it. Um, Ah, actually, too so much money, too much money. Perfect. Uh, so I actually forgot to tell you all. Um, so if you're if you're looking at my vector demo, you'll see that if you go through the rest of it from here, that none of the prices are in the the page here. All right. So if you're on your if you're looking at it, I want you to scroll up to the top of page nine. All right, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna share my screen uh, just for two seconds to show you. Okay, so you're gonna be on page nine on your, on the web page. Okay, and here you'll see the, the, the page nine is actually hyperlinked. And now what it does is it's gonna redirect you to the rest of the clothes with prices in it. So now you have all the knee jerk reactions filled in, all of the, all the drop downs. So you have your galley set, your starter sets, all prices in there. Um, are the per month prices one more for um, yeah, these are all on the Drew ones. Great question. So yeah, you can add one more. Um, there's is the, those numbers like 164. Um, that actually might be right. It's like 164.38. That's what I thought. So that's why yeah. I do 165. So I do $1 more because I just want to make it an easy number so that they know that that's, there's nothing more going on to it. So yeah, right. I would do one. Great, great question, Brody. Yeah, one dollar more on all the five month plans, and you'll be golden. Okay. And so, same for per week, or just the months. Uh, Let me just, see the per week. You can add a dollar to them. It doesn't really. Yeah, if you overquote, Brody, it's okay. By a dollar. I've never had someone say, "Oh, it's a dollar more." No. <laughs> never had that happen to me. Okay, right. just had to make sure. No, no good question. question. Good question. Okay, so let me go back to what the customer is going to be seeing here. Okay, so they are still on this portion. Okay, all right, so you're going to click on page nine. That way it pulls up the prices and all that. So if they said no, no problem, you'll do your knee jerk reaction. They say no to that, again, no problem. And you'll see at the bottom, if, if they say no to the knee jerk reaction, no problem. Let's skip to the next set. And so you'll have them skip two slides, right? Cause we're skipping. So now we're to the galley set. And this is our most popular. So as your customer's looking through this, you're gonna do that. Um, Hold on. Okay, so 
you're now you're going to get to the point where if your customer uh, so it's a perfect starter set and it explains it, it takes care of all your needs as you can see it has the paring knife for the air has the trimmer for the small stuff spatula for your sandwiches a meat knife a serving piece a veggie chopper a bread knife and it comes with six table knives it's a few less knives for a lot less money now Instead of being 1326, so go ahead and cross that out, John. Instead of being 1326 for the homemaker set, just below that, I want you to write um, 957. Okay. And then uh, to the right of that, draw the line and write uh, 210 per month for five months. And if you get this set today, I can still include the kitchen tools, entertainer pack, or super shears for free. Is that something you want to get today? Sure. Ah, oh, congratulations. You're going to love your Cutco. Now, if that's the case, and he says, yes, you'll exit the screen. You'll exit the screen so that you can move to um, the gifts and accessories. Okay. <clears throat> now, let's just, for instance, say he said no, and no problem. Uh, it, if it makes a difference, we can do something else for free. We can switch it out for a, a barbecue set, um, a hunting knife, a fishing knife, anything of equal or lesser value. Now, it doesn't say it in there, but you want to follow up with how does that sound? Negative. Okay. Yeah, no problem. We also have starter sets. And if someone says, can I buy pieces? Here's how you respond. You'll see it right there. Of course. However, our sets are discounted. They're safer. And you, get, and you get free stuff. If you don't mind, I'm going to show you our starter sets. And if none of those appeal to you, uh, you can pick out whatever piece you want. All right. So now we'll scroll down to the starter sets. You'll do it the same exact way. So we're going to, these are, so uh, these next two slides are our starter sets. Go ahead and click. These are great for building up over time and gifts for family and friends. Now, this is our essentials and our studio set. Now, I'm going to walk through the pieces in those studio set or in those sets. And if you want, you can scroll up to page 10. And I use the nicknames from the galley set to explain the pieces as I go through this. Right. So I have the, the paring knife for the air, the spatula for sandwiches. I have a serving piece, uh, a meat knife, uh, and a veggie chopper with five table knives. The studio set has the paring knife for the air, the trimmer for the small stuff. This actually has a you know, spatula for your sandwiches, the meat knife as well, and comes with four table knives. Um, and then we have the, so go ahead and click, hit the space bar again. Uh, now we have our space saver set, our all knife set, kitchenette and set and gourmet set. Uh, the space saver set you see has the paring knife for the air, the trimmer for those, or actually, sorry, it has two different paring knives, one a little bit bigger for potatoes and, and, and bigger apples. Then you have a trimmer for the small stuff. You have your petite carver for your meat and large uh, veggies uh, and fruits. And then you have your, your chef's knife. Now this comes in a smaller block here. And then we have our, um, we have our, um, our kitchenette set, which has the paring knife for the air, the trimmer for the small stuff, has your uh, serving piece, your uh, meat knife and your bread slicer comes in a tray. The all knife set also in a tray has the paring knife for the air, trimmer for the small stuff, spatula for your sandwiches, your veggie chopper, and your meat knife. Um, all three of these are actually great for boats, campers, and RVs. Uh, and then we have our gourmet set, which has the bony knife for the air, the hearty slicer, the santoku, the vegetable knife, and the cleaver. Um, so out of these starter sets, which combination did you like the best? All knife. All knife? Oh, great choice. Um, that set is only... Uh, 115. So go ahead and write 115 for five months. So circle 115 or uh, 519 in full. Now, if you get this set today, John, you can actually still have the super shares for free. Is that something you want to get today? Yes. No, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. He said yes. Awesome. We'll go. Now we'll jump out to go to accessories and such. Um, if he said no, we would stay in this. Okay. So if he says yes, escape, get out of it, go to the gifts and accessories. If he says no, we'll just move to the a la carte menu. Okay. No problem. Uh, you can customize your own set and even the custom, uh, even with a custom set, uh, you can break it up over a few months 
Uh, let me show you how that works. And you'll explain the easy pay option. All you're gonna say is that um, two months in order to, uh, so it's $70 to do two months, it's $200 to do three months and 500 to do, or 400 to do five months. Um, I don't think you need to go crazy on explaining that until we get to picking out what they like, okay? So now we're at the customizing option. It says, Mrs. Jones, you can customize your own set and I can get you something for free. Let's make a list of your favorite five pieces. You can see yourself using the most. Um, have custom, So you'll have them write down and I'll, I, I would also be writing down their, you wanna keep track of their wish list too, okay? Um, remember, this isn't anything they have to buy today. This is anything that they like, all right? So if Cutco were free, John, what would you run out and grab it? And my line, the one I love is, if Cutco was falling from the sky, handles down, of course, what would you run out and grab before your neighbors did? Spat, you know, blah, 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 blah. spatula spreader, cheese spatula. knife, santoku, because, you know, we Asians like to chop. <laughs> um, definitely that four-inch para knife and uh that spread or that slicer slicer awesome well we have an incredible buy now bonus let me show you how they work okay so for those five pieces that you picked out uh, i can actually give you a pair of super shears or four table knives for free how does that sound sounds great awesome um and if not then we'll just drop down to the buy three get one free if not we'll go to the gadget special um and you see in your manual, it also walks through how to present the price to your customer. Um, so for those of you who can't see, I'll pull this up. Um, and I do wanna make sure that this is, this is how you should tell them to write it down, right? The value of what they're getting of all the pieces, you'll total it all up. Um, how much they're saving, what the price is today, the monthly, circle the monthly. And then I love the line, would you like to go ahead and get that deal today? Okay. If they said no, um, reserving their buy now bonus. Now I will say that you, you're, you might have some people who wanna test some stuff out. Um, there are some people who hands on, um, but I'll tell you, that's going to be a few and few and few number. Uh, the reason I say that is we live in a world where so many people are used to like buying things to, uh, and without testing it out. Amazon is just making a killing right now and you never touch anything. You never look at anything maybe other than a review. Our video has a review. You have someone who walks you through everything, answers all their questions, uh, so on and so forth. So there, this, this, by the way, I think is pretty simple. Now there's a couple new added features to this that we're going to walk through. <coughs> Before I do that, I am going to ask, does anyone have any questions? And if you do, by the way, please throw them in the chat box as we go through this. Um, but I will pause for a quick second. Does anyone have any questions? So is there a Spanish version of this? Mm -hmm. There is Brody. You don't in even Spanish? speak Spanish. Oh, I was like, dude, that's cool. That's a I'm good asking, question. I'm asking for other people. <laughs> I appreciate the question. Yes, there hey, is. Brody, you could have fooled me, dude. Brody's one of those gringos that you don't know that just like belts out like fluent Spanish. <laughs> I can see it. I can see him in Orlando. <laughs> <laughs> cool. All right. So any real quick, any questions? Uh, you, you, wait, so how do we get to that? Uh, or are you going to go for that? Thing? The Spanish demo? Yeah. I'll deal with that for the people who need it. Got it. Thank you, though. <laughs> That's, a good... um, That's great. Freaking love it. All right, cool. So now what, what's really, what I really like about this uh, by the way, is here, when you go back to this, you all can see my the manual, right? What yes, do you guys we can. Okay, cool. So on this, you also have phoning. 
um, and you can have a you can pull up a three day schedule to kind of you can make your own little schedule here. You can download that and use it if you'd like. Um, you can also use this brainstorming list to create your rec sheets. Uh, so you can get organized and some of you don't have some of the stuff from the office, like the, the documents we used to use in person. So now you can start organize your leads yourself, your attack list. And I, I would use this sheet right here, customer contact list. So when I'm doing an appointment, I, I would, what you do is you download this onto your phone or you can use it just like this. You'll save it to your Google drive. And now you can have individual customer recommendation lists. Um, through your virtuals. Now I'm going to pop in because there are some other parts to this. Just like the old manual, you still have your phone approach there. Your firm up. Um, Cutco questions. All of it's exactly the same. Um, there's a little video if you want to watch someone run through the, the virtual demo. Um, there's also the email that I was mentioning earlier that you want to send out here. Here's where you can easily grab that from. It even gives you the subject. So you can put the subject name, uh, the customer's name and the time of the demo, um, getting through phone numbers. Uh, Oh, so sorry, this is for calling friends to get parents' numbers, collecting more numbers, things like that. All of that's in here as well. Uh, same exact stuff as some of you have in your physical manual. Okay. There's also referrals in there, but most of you have the Kathy one if you've gotten there. Uh, remember, no calling referrals unless you've cleared your skills, skills check. All right, just, I know that stuff's in here, but you wanna make sure you're set up properly. Uh, make sure you've checked with your manager on your skills checked. Uh, I wouldn't use the, 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 the voicemail script yet. That's, there's a, a couple things I want to teach before we do that. So you have your phoning. Uh, you also have your recommendations. Uh, page 16 is in here too. There is a little extra uh, tip. Or sorry, there's a website that you can have them go to to fill out the uh, the sheet to, to send you recommendations over the phone. Uh, the last thing I will, sh I'm going to walk through here. Um, oh, you have the, the Cutco specials on this as well. That's actually not what I was going to do, but I didn't realize that. Uh, gifts and accessories. There's some cool add-ons to this gifts and accessories section. Um, because once you get to, to achieve knives and all this, this goes right along with the manual. Um, there's a portion, I'm trying to look for it. I don't see it. Um, I need to find it. I'll show you guys in just a second. So anyway, it's going to walk through all of your gifts and accessories just the way you would in your slideshow here. So we'll go through steak and table knives, go through, oh, I'm sharing the wrong screen now. All right, so you'll see, we'll go through the, the table knives, steak knives, additionals. Uh, we'll go through the can opener, ice cream scoop, pizza cutter, the different cheese knives, the flatware, Hold on, I'm pulling it up on my phone to make sure I'm all on the same page with you. Um, cookware, you have the Derek video for the cookware as well. Now, um, 
sorry, I'm going to go back and actually do it the way that the, the script is. I didn't have it pulled up exactly. I apologize. I'm trying to run through some stuff real quick. But so if you, if you have the script in front of you, it says, do you ever host holidays or have company over at your house? A lot of customers quickly realize that they get their Cutco, uh, get their Cutco that their table knives and steak knives are always in the dishwasher because they, they're used so often. It's very common for people to add six, eight, or twelve to their order, uh, and keep their blocks, ex uh, keep their, keep their extras either in a block or in a tray or store in the drawer. Uh, that way, when company comes over, they're not uh, having to choose who gets the good knives at the table and who's left with the old ones. Uh, do you think you could use a few extra table knives or steak knives? If yes, awesome. How many would you like to add? If no, no problem. Move on to the next slide. So everything is super outlined with how to show it, how to ask questions about it. Uh, we have the, the bottle opener, the wine opener, the can opener, super smooth wheel action, leaves no, no uh, sharp edges, strong magnet holds the lid after uh, removing it so it doesn't fall into the can. Uh, then you'll, you know, the, the wine opener also has, bottle, has a bottle opener um, on the side, can stand upright in the counter roll without rolling or tipping, Great for gift for somebody who loves wine, uh, but would never treat themselves to a high quality wine opener. And then we'll explain the entertainer pack, right? Has the entertainer pack includes all four most common uh, customer requested gadgets, including our most sought after cheese knife. Uh, they're super comfortable, easy to use. And if your hands are wet, the grip is even better. It's comfortable grip handles, never crack or peel. They're completely dishwasher safe, just like everything else Cutco makes. The peeler is the same steel as our knives and peels in both directions. It's tough enough, the, to, uh, tough enough for eggplants and butternut squash and you'll never be able to use, uh, you'll never be able to use another peeler after this one ever again. I think everyone can agree with that one. Uh, most people like to, most people, it's more like the pressure cutting See, even I make mistakes doing this. It's more like a, a pressure cut, cutter, uh, meaning it's not sharp to the touch. So kids don't, uh, can reach into the drawer, it won't cut them, uh, but the, they can apply pressure and it'll go right through. It's, a, it's great for quesadillas, pancakes, and Play-Doh, and the blade pops out so you can clean it or throw it into the dishwasher. And then we have the ice cream scoop melts through rock hard ice cream, as you saw earlier. Uh, we have with no harmful chemicals inside. It's also great for getting seeds out of cantaloupe, honeydew, and butternut squash, and you can't bend it. And it's also angled so it doesn't rip, uh, drip on the counter. Best part is you, uh, the little foot in, and it. The best part is the little foot in it has on the handle, so the ice cream scoop will never touch the counter after you scoop it. That's very true. Cheese knife is best for tomatoes, potatoes, and cheeses. It's also great for cucumbers, pineapple, or cucumbers, apples, onions, and anything that usually sticks to the blade of your, uh, when you slice it. Holes create the air pockets so nothing sticks. It can cut straight down through hard and soft cheese and has rounded tips for the spread. This, this pack makes an awesome gift too. The inner painter tack is only blank. Would you like to add that? All right, now we're on to the cheese knives. We'll go through the different cheese knives. Um, I don't think I'm needing to read through all of this, but I just, I hope everyone sees, you know, you have all the pictures are gonna line up with everything. It is so easily followed. Then you move it into the flatware. There's a section to talk about the flatware. Um, again, you have the video for walking through the cookware, it'll walk through the different options. It'll show the different set options so they can see the three different sets, which will drop you right into a Cutco kitchen if they decide they wanna go into that. Then you have steak knives, sporting hunting knives. You can go through all of them. There's a brief little description. Garden tools has a description on those pieces. The barbecue set. Gifts and accessories. By the way, when you get to this part here, here is a big one. I always ask, hey, by the way, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, do you, do you own a business or know anybody who does and does client or business appreciation gifts? Cutco makes an amazing gift. It's the best gift card you'll, or the best business card you'll ever give somebody because you have the gift of Cutco with your name on it and you'll always be in front of them. 
And as I tell my real estate clients that I work with who do this as a living, it's like, you're top of mind. You're, I had, there was a client of, of ours who she, she gave one of her sellers um, a piece of Cutco, uh, a, a Santoku, and she left. She moved from Houston to uh, Pennsylvania. Five years later, moved back to Houston and used the same real estate agent. And she asked the real estate agent asked the real estate agent asked her why, and she goes, "You were in my kitchen every day. I could never forget about you. Your name was literally there every time I was cooking." Um, so, those are huge uh, for gifts for people. Uh, things like that. So um, yeah, Cyan, you're exactly right. Making sure you're letting people know when to sh move forward in the presentation. So then we'll walk through the safe storage options. So we have sheaths for people that you can take it on the part. Uh, and then the last part, this is the last slide here. This is your recommendation slide. Okay. By the way, this is going to be full screen uh, when you're doing it. They'll click on this link. That link is hyperlinked and it takes them right to the page to submit recommendations to you. Now, the most important thing is that they have your email. If they don't put your email in right here, you will not receive the form uh, for them to submit you recommendations, okay? So if they don't know your email address before they get off the phone, uh, you are going to have a much harder time getting recommendations, especially if it's people you don't know, okay? Uh, so that's pretty much the whole, whole virtual in a nutshell. Um, now that you have seen it all, uh, I'm going to open it back up for questions. Is there anything anybody wants me to explain, go over again, answer? So at what point would you ask them to get a pen and paper? I do that at the very beginning. 